Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Luckily, all storms are out to sea now. Anything that's out there is not going to be impacting land anytime soon, but we're still in the midst of hurricane season. The peak of the season is actually September 10th, and today's the first day of September. So, yes, still hurricane season, and happy meteorological fall. We count fall as September, October, November, so it is the season for some cooler air, but it's actually going to be heating up, feeling like summer for the next several days. We'll show you that forecast coming up, but here's a live look outside. Very quiet tonight in downtown Louisville. 81 the current temperature, quite warm at this late hour. Uh, the dew point 67, so the humidity's a little elevated, but really not that bad. Today we were right around average. We hit 88 degrees, but we woke up to a refreshing 60. But if you live outside of town, it was much, much cooler. Check out Seymour. We had a low of 51 degrees. I would need a light jacket with a temperature of 51. North Vernon, 57. Shepherdsville got to 56 this morning. But don't get too used to these cool morning temperatures because we're expecting a warm up. Here we go through the next several days. Our temperature trend is going up and it's going to be above average. We're talking 90s for at least the next five days or so. Uh, and overnight lows will warm up too. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s for most of us with the exception of downtown Louisville at 81, but Seymour is 67, North Vernon 65. So a little bit cooler as you head north. We did have a few clouds earlier today, all due to a trough to our south. And that trough is still there. And as long as that little weak disturbance is in the atmosphere, we can't rule out a shower. Now, we're not expecting these showers to ruin your plans or anything like that, but we did watch a couple of showers pop up right around Litchfield in Grayson County just a few minutes ago. Those have since dissipated, but there are a few more showers south of there in the Bowling Green area. And these could drift north overnight tonight, but as they do, they will lose their energy. But a couple of them could push into our viewing area late tonight, especially south of the metro. 71 for that forecast low. Otherwise, we're just dry. Tomorrow looks mostly dry, too. 91 for that afternoon high. Yes, a 10% shower chance maybe tomorrow morning and maybe through lunchtime, but the best chance will be south of town. We have a game, a big game at Lynn Family Stadium tomorrow, racing Louisville against the Portland Thorns. Kickoff is at 7.30 tomorrow. It's going to be quite warm at kickoff, 87 degrees, but a good amount of sunshine, clear skies at the end of the game with temperatures still in the 80s. So we have some nice pool days ahead for the unofficial end to summer coming up. 91 tomorrow. Partly cloudy, lots of sunshine on Sunday, 93. Labor Day Monday, a mix of sun and clouds, a little bit hotter. We're talking mid-90s. So let's time out that 10% shower chance, right? Notice Futurecast does wake us up to partly cloudy skies. Maybe a, we'll squeeze out a shower. Futurecast not showing much. And then a good amount of sunshine through your Saturday afternoon. Sunday looks even nicer, if you don't mind it getting a little bit hotter. But lots of sunshine in the forecast for your Sunday and we keep the hot weather going into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we climb into the mid 90s and then an isolated to widely scattered shower chance Thursday, Friday, but even that's not looking too impressive. So no widespread rain chances or anything like that. A pretty hot last of unofficial weekend. Typical summer of weekend. Summer. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm.